Hi, I'm Vince Molinari, and welcome to the Nest Summit, part of Climate Week New York City. I am thrilled to have Hermelo Butch Bacani with us today. He's the program leader of the United Nations Environmental Program's Principles for Sustainable Insurance Initiative. And that is a mouthful, and it is so important. And if I and just go with Butch from this point forward, Butch, welcome to the show today. Hello, Vince. Thank you for having me. Well, it's delight. I am so e- eager to jump into our conversation. So launching a series, launching a series that we're calling A Climate of Leadership, how the United Nations and insurance industry leaders are moving the sustainability needle. Well, that's two things to put together that I don't think we often talk about, the United Nations and the insurance industry. So yeah, kind of kind of jump in. Tell me why the United Nations is working with the insurance industry, particularly on sustainable development. Yes, um, sustainable development has three interlocking and mutually reinforcing dimensions, economic, social, and environmental sustainability. And we believe that the insurance industry has a triple role in sustainable development. The first role is the role of a risk manager. This is the expertise of the insurance industry in understanding, quantifying, and preventing and reducing risk. For example, through the use of catastrophe risk modeling and risk analytics and loss prevention measures. The second role is the role of an insurer. So insurance a financial, is a financial shock absorber when disaster strikes. It's also a tool to, the, to transition, uh, to the risk of transition to uh, low carbon technologies. And the third role is the role of an institutional investor. Globally, the insurance industry has around over 30 trillion in global assets under management. And the way that capital is allocated uh, will have a telling impact on sustainable development. So these are the three uh, key roles that believe that we believe the insurance industry can play in sustainable development. And so timely when we look at what's occurring in the world today, the levels of risk associated with climate that are coming forward. So this, this conversation and the series that you're bringing forward, I think is going to be cutting edge conversation um, for the world to see and really to provide leadership. Um, I, I'd love you to tell me a bit why uh, the United, about the United Nations uh, Principle for Sustainable Insurance at, or, or PSI. What's it all about? The principles for stable insurance are a set of global principles developed by the insurance industry uh, with the support of the United Nations for insurers around the world to better manage um, environmental, social, and governance issues or sustainability issues in their core risk management, insurance, and investment activities. So this, uh, these issues can range from climate change, and biodiversity loss and ecosystem degradation and pollution on the one hand to uh, human rights violations like child labor um, and uh, corruption um, on the other hand. So the principles have been endorsed at the highest level of the United Nations by the UN Secretary General um, and they have also been endorsed by insurance industry CEOs around the world. And this global framework has led to the largest collaborative initiative between the United Nations and the insurance industry. So currently we have around 150 uh, insurance organizations around the world who represent, um, collectively represent more than 25% of world premium volume and over $14 trillion uh, in assets under management. And so this is the largest initiative of its kind and we are doing collaborative initiatives with the insurance industry to drive sustainable development worldwide. Well, certainly an enormous initiative. How long has PSI been around? It's been around since 2012. We launched the principles at the UN Conference on Sustainable Development in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, which marked the 20th anniversary of the original 1992 Earth Summit that was held in Brazil. Wow. Well, congratulations on the great work. And when you talk about assets under management of that size and scope, uh, certainly a huge initiative. 
you know, what I love about the conversation and what PSI has been doing is moving so many things to action with collaboration. And that's a bit of, if I, if I say myself, uh, the epitome of sustainable development goal number 17 in partnership and collaboration. Uh, could you speak to any of the uh, initiatives themselves uh, between uh, the uh, insurance industry, PSI, and, and moving uh, the needle on sustainability? I can give you uh, four concrete examples, uh, Vince. The first one is that uh, a couple of years ago, the Financial Stability Board um, issued recommendations uh, on climate risk disclosure by financial institutions and companies. And the whole idea here is to better understand climate-related risks associated uh, with the business of insurers, investors, and also companies in the real economy. In the PSI, we have convened the largest gathering of insurance companies um, that are piloting um, the recommendations of the Financial Stability Board on Climate Risk Disclosure in a way that we want to better understand and quantify climate-related physical transition and liability risks in the context of insurance portfolios. This means um, using a state-of-the-art, forward-looking climate change scenario analysis to better understand different climate change futures and its impact on insurance portfolios. That's one. The second one is that the UN has also convened over 25 um, institutional investors, including insurance companies and, and pension funds representing over $5 trillion in assets, who have all committed to transition their investment portfolios to net zero emissions by 2050. Uh, in order to help achieve the goal of the Paris Agreement of um, Climate Change to limit global warming to no more than 1.5 degrees uh, um, by the end of the century. And we are now also exploring whether that angle on investment portfolios could also be applied and, and potentially look into a net zero framework for insurance portfolios. The third one, is the, the PSI has uh, produced uh, uh, a couple of months ago the first ever global sustainability guide for the insurance industry. This means having a proactive and systemic guide for any insurance company in the world to uh, systematically uh, manage uh, sustainability uh, risks and opportunities in its core insurance business. And the fourth one, uh, relates to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. As we know, in 2015, uh, the world's governments um, created the blueprint for sustainable development, which has a time horizon of 2030. And um, these goals apply to any government, any business, any financial institution. But what we have done is to translate the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, into insurance terms. So now we have just launched an initiative of creating a set of global insurance sustainable development goals. And early ideas include potentially uh, increasing the amount of insurance for smallholder farmers in terms of agriculture insurance by 2030, health risk management and insurance for people by 2030, uh, looking at insurance for nature-based solutions and natural ecosystems and protected areas, um, in the coming years, and also um, insurance uh, portfolios that would reduce greenhouse gas emissions uh, by X percent by 2030. So see, these are some of the most cutting edge initiatives that we are undertaking uh, with the insurance industry to really uh, move the needle and not simply uh, have a drop in the bucket. Well, talk about cutting edge and, and moving the needle, so impressive. But how do uh, folks find out more about these initiatives? Where do they go? So we, they can go to our website, um, uh, UNEPFI, U-N-E-P-F-I dot org slash uh, P-S-I. Um, and they can find out uh, about that. Or they can contact me, of course, um, butch.pakani at U-N dot org. Terrific. Well, you've lined up uh, an all-star roster for the sustainability series of insurance leaders. You know, can you give us a little sneak preview of uh, what we can expect to see and maybe uh, share with us who's going to be on? Yes, uh, very excited about this. Um, uh, first, we'll have um, Denis Duverne, 
He's the chairman of the board of directors of the AXA Group. AXA is one of the largest global insurers um, and investors in the world. And they are a recognized sustainability leader, both in their insurance and investment activities. Um, and then we have Christian Mumenthaler, the group CEO of Swiss Re. They're one of the largest global reinsurers in the world and also one of the largest um, global investors. And they are, just like AXA, a recognized sustainability leader, both in their insurance and investment activities. And the third uh, person is California Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara. And Commissioner Lara has been very proactive in his vision and uh, an action on, uh, on issues such as climate change and nature-based solutions and the role of the insurance industry in, in making, helping make California uh, resilient and sustainable going forward. And obviously, uh, what's happening in California right now with the raging wildfires, and in fact, the Western United States, is, uh, is, um, is a call to action. Incredibly timely. Uh, can't wait to watch this series myself. Uh, thanks to the Nest Summit and Climate Week New York City. Butch, before we depart, um, any, any uh, parting words, insights that you'd like to share with us? Yes, um, to successfully tackle global challenges to uh, address climate change and to achieve the UN Sustainable Development Goals, what we have learned at the United Nations is that we need to match leadership with collaboration, urgent action, and ambition. At the same time, we have to have a solid dose of stubborn optimism that we will be able to do that. And, and for us, uh, by working with the insurance industry, we have learned that insurability and investability go hand in hand with sustainability. And by insuring and investing for sustainability, the insurance industry can play a key role in the transformational change needed to achieve a resilient sustainability. interview with today. Uh, excited and honored to partake in this series and help bring all of this fabulous work that you're leading forward. Thank you for the leadership. Thank you to PSI and uh, looking forward to much more with you. Thank you so much, Vince. And uh, we're looking forward to the series and actions speak louder than words. Absolutely, my friend. Thanks again for joining. Thank you.